Hi folks, it's Rich here. Uh, how are we doing? Novice guitarist with guitar number 158 or 9, I think, in my hands. Now, the elephant in the room here may be or may not be. <laughs> so, for those who have been following the channel for a bit, thank you. And hello to some new subscribing subscriberoos. How are you doing? Uh, I've had a Chapman fetish for a good six months, maybe longer. I've not had many other guitars. I had a Kramer, which I had to send back. It just had, sh the frets were so sharp, they could have been used for an unboxing. And that one vintage guitar, but generally it's all, I've just loved the Chapmans. But I fancied a change and this was too good to be true. You can see from the title what it is. Now I've had six PRSs. I've had a, an SE Tremonti. I've had a standard 24 twice, an older one and a, Bit and a, new, and a later one, and I've had a an, an SC245. The first one I loved, which for those who've been around for a little while will know, was named by the Game Dane Carsten. If Harry Carsten, if you're watching, he said that the guitar is called Savannah, and so she was, and and I loved her. I did. And then I've got it in my mind because I've got started to get a bit fidgety with it. I don't know why. Just why you just do. That's what's in my nature. I'm making an ash of opening this box. How hard can it be? So I took it to Guitar Tech Tom. Hi Tom. And I said, Tom, let's put some coil splits on this and make it coil splitty. But the pickups didn't really sound all that good coil split. And somehow I felt like I'd abused her and ruined her. And it just, she just never felt the same. So she got sold. Sad times. This box in a box, this outside box is absolutely gigantic. Although to be fair, inside here, they put some of this stuff all the way around the box that the guitar is actually in. So anyway, if to fast forward quite some time, and I am the master of buy the same guitar again. I've done that, I've had 14 Squire Bullets tracks. I've had five of the same Chapmans. I've had, oh, I don't know, I just keep doing it because I'm stupid. So I bought the same guitar again in the same colour, second hand. Trying to relive the moment. I'm still here, don't worry. Don't worry about me. I'm okay. <sighs> Box isn't secured. And it just wasn't the same. Or maybe I wasn't the same. Or maybe nothing is ever the same again. <laughs> Who knows? So this one, it was listed on the Anderton's website. For 3 dollars I was thinking, is it a 2022 model for that much money? But we're well into 2023, aren't we? So maybe not. They had a sale recently on PRS and all of them were dropped to 3 dollars And this is vintage Sunburst. And I've got £40 in loyalty points to use. So it's cost me £359. Now, Peach Guitars, I think, and Gak and some others, have still got these on their website for 600 some even more. And one of the things I've liked about PRS is, is they're always perfect out of the box. Please let this one be perfect. And you still get a gig bag. So many brands just don't do that anymore, do they? At this kind of price point. Chapman don't, they used to, which is a shame. Fender certainly don't, Jesus. But yeah, you get a pretty good quality padded gig bag. Nice touch PRS, well done for carrying on doing that. And for those who don't know, SE stands for Student Edition. Which is perfect for me, because I am the forever student. Well, we're all students. Don't we? But I'm the forever student. So out of the padded box it comes. Oh look, it's got some protection in its bag in a bag in a bag for its headstock. And boop, take that off. Without cutting myself on the strings. And let's have a look at how pretty this is. Please be really pretty, I think it will be oh, so far so good. Nice colour on the back. You've seen it before me. Vintage sunburst. Let's take that off. Sorry, I need to have a look now too. Flamey. Flamey. Not particularly well bookmarked, but a lot of these guitars aren't. It doesn't even matter, who cares? Let's have a look at the switch went on my last one. Tom had to fix it for me. That feels nice and clicky to start with. Two volumes, two tones. Action looks nice. So spec-wise, it's a mahogany body, a mahogany neck with a rosewood fingerboard. Now, one of the things that's characteristic of PRS's is, is the frets have always been good. And this one 
is no exception. That is lovely. The fretboard is dark, but it looks like it could do with a little drink of lemon oil. It looks a little bit on the dry side. Plastic nuts, which is always a bit of a disappointment, but that's just what they do. I've never had an issue with the tuning. Even the two, the PRS Standard 24, the whammy bar, give that a load of grief. And if you watch Elmo Cali Lali Arjun's videos, he really gives it grief and it stayed in tune. You get the nice mushroom tuners, uh, tuners, uh, strap buttons, which I really like. Oh, barely cut. Some nice figuring in the wood. There. You get a bit of a sort of a heel carve on these, so it makes it a bit easier to go up here. It doesn't feel too heavy. This is a wide fat neck. They do a wide fat, a wide thin. How can I describe this to you if you've not had one of these? It's a 10 inch radius. What is this like? It's thinner than my Chapman ML3 Pro. It's skinny here and it gets chunkier as it goes along. It's a C shape. I mean, they call it white fat. It's just reassuring. It's certainly not chunky. Look, you can see up here, look, that's not super, super big here. You get the bird inlays. These are sort of mother of pearly looking ones. Probably not actual mother of pearl, I'm sure. Binding around the side. Nice brass saddles here on the stop tail as well. Six aside, and the tuners on these are very much like a, a Chapman standard or a Fender Mexican kind of feel. It's a nice bit of grain you can see through the wood. It's obviously a gloss finish on the on the neck, and that is. Lovely, I can't see, quick inspection, can see no issues with that anywhere. And that, and that has been characteristic of all the PRS SEs I've had. None of them have had any issues in any way. So they're not cheap, and they've, well, obviously this one was, but they've gone up in price now. But I do believe they're worth every penny. If you like PRS and it's your thing, yeah. So. I'll come back to you a bit later when I've had a play.